Hey guys, Swiss and Ambition here, bringing you this special episode of Transformers Lore. This episode, we will be covering the Transformers crossover with Neon Genesis Evangelion, Transformers Mode EVA. In this universe, like many others, the Autobots and Decepticons went to war. The Autobots were under the command of Supreme Commander Optimus Prime while the Decepticons were under the command of Galvatron. At some point, Unicron struck this universe and the event was known as the Unicron War. During this conflict, the traitorous Starstream was killed. However, his immortal spark caused him to live on as a sort of a spirit or ghost. However, one thing that makes this universe special is the fact that the Autobot Decepticon War did not spread to Earth. At least, not just yet. And then, Earth was invaded from beyond the stars. However, the planet was not invaded by Cybertronians. In a tragic event called the Second Impact, large, massive creatures known as Angels invaded Earth. In order to defend the planet, the United Nations mobilized its forces and engaged the Angels. However, as the Angels possessed a force field ability called the Absolute Terror Field, or AT Field, the United Nations forces were ineffective. So the United Nations transferred command of the anti-angel operations to the secret military organization called NERV. NERV managed to reverse engineer angel technology to develop their first anti-angel weapon, the Evangelion Unit 1. As the war continued, the city Tokyo 3 was constructed in Japan as a transformable city able to deploy EVA-1. One night, contact was established between the Cybertronians and Earth. An angel appeared outside of Tokyo 3 and was ready to attack. Misato Katsuragi led the nerve forces to be prepared to defend the city. However, Skylynx arrived and dropped the Autobots Optimus Prime, Willjack, Bumblebee, and Sideswipe. The Autobots had received strange energy signals from the angels and arrived to investigate. This greatly bewildered the nerve forces. As the Autobots watched the angel, a ghostly form appeared materialized in front of the angel, Starscream had arrived, deciding that the angel would make a good new body. To the Autobots' horror, Starscream unified with the angel and possessed its body, giving it more defined Starscream features. No longer was he Starscream, now he was Angel Scream. Yeah, I know, uh, that, that's, that's stupid, just, just, um... Just, just go with it for now, okay? Just, just go with it. We'll, we'll, we'll somehow work our back around. Let's we'll, we'll go with it. Katsuragi ordered the deployment of EVA-1, and the city began to transform. This reminded Optimus of Metroplex. When EVA-1 rose from the ground, Optimus was surprised that humanity had developed such a huge robot. But then he felt a feeling that it wasn't a robot, and that it was descent from an actual organic being. In order to better understand it, Optimus scanned it. What resulted was that Optimus Prime's size increased to the size of the EVA, and he also acquired his purple color scheme. As he rose, Prime let out a primal roar. The Autobots and Nerve nervously asked if Prime was okay, and Optimus told him that he felt strange within. The Matrix pulsated and turned red. This was the result of a Transformer and Evangelion coming together. After Angel Scream considered using his new body to overthrow Galvatron, he decided he would gain legitimacy for the Decepticon throne by killing Optimus Prime. The two began to fight and Angel Scream gained the upper hand, firing multiple Null Ray shots and cracking Optimus Prime's head. In order to save their commander, the Autobots attacked, but were unable to breach Star Scream's AT field. Bumblebee drove around Angel Scream's feet, provoking him by saying that a, as large an angel, he would be unable to catch them with the speed he used to be so proud of. Angel Scream turned to face him, but lost balance in his body he wasn't used to yet. Will Jack managed to call Masato and had her flip the ground underneath Angel Scream. Angel Scream eventually got his balance back, but the Autobots had brought enough time 
for Optimus Prime to recover. Angel Scream covered himself with his AT field, but Optimus Prime channeled the Eva power from the Matrix into a crimson red energy axe, which he used to cut through the field. He jammed the axe into Angel Scream's chest just before the Angel died. Starstrom's ghost fled the angel's body. Cutting into the angel's core, a blood-like liquid sprayed out and stained the ground of Tokyo 3, and the body fell limply on the ground. Masato watched the whole affair on the monitors at Nerve HQ. A few hours later, cleanup operations were underway in Tokyo 3. Optimus Prime had returned to his normal size, but was able to transform into EVA mode. Nerve staff members modified his trailer to be able to hold EVA 1. Wooljack spoke with one of the nerve workers. The war with the angels would surely continue and more Decepticons would set their sights on Earth. As there were no more Evangelion units available, it was up to Optimus Prime and his Autobots to defend Earth. As the sun rose on Optimus Prime's intimidating figure, Masato couldn't help but feel a sort of anxiety and restlessness. Could the Transformers really be able to stop angels? Could they be trusted at all? Hope you enjoyed this very special episode of Transformers Lore. I was honored to know that Primus wanted me to do this, so I couldn't turn it down. Now, if you get kind of bored of the Transformers thing and want to see some amazing gameplay, head over to my channel, Twisted Ambition, for some funny collabs and, you know, just kind of chill hanging out. You might actually catch your uh, main man Primus on there time to time. You know, if he ever wants to stop being, you know, antisocial. Charlie, he wrote the script in like a day and a half with all the research. I, I don't understand how he did it. Promise you can cut that out if you want to. I really don't care. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and a better night. See ya. Come on.